Hi guys, it's Barnaby for Spurred On. Obviously, we've got the huge early game on Saturday against Manchester City. So I am going to talk to one of the world's biggest Man City fans, Adam from Blue Moon Rising. Adam, how are you, mate? I'm good, mate. How are you? Very well. Uh, obviously, we lost the North London derby in the week, so a little bit disappointed. But I feel after three uh, clean sheets and three wins in a row for Spurs, uh, well, before that game, uh, we can look confidently going into the City game. But more importantly, you know, how do you guys feel going into it? Um, mixed, really. Um, obviously, the West Ham game, I'm putting down as an anomaly. They were spectacular defensively. Um, caught us on the break a couple of times, which is interesting. But I think the way we've played this season, we've got to be confident, especially away from home. Yeah, and also you've got a fantastic record uh, against us recently, haven't you? I, I spoke to you a few days ago and you told me some ridiculous stat about Aguero scoring against us. Yeah, we've won eight out of ten. Um, we've scored 16 in four and Aguero's got half of those goals. So eight goals against us. So uh, what you're suggesting is any betting man would put money on Aguero and a City win? Yeah, I'm not, I'm not going to say I'm, I'm going to bet on that, but yeah. What's interesting about that, I think, is before that 8-10, and 10, we used to turn you over regularly. Yeah, I think you won 4-4 four four before those 10 games. So, Yeah, I remember a um, League Cup game uh, up at your gaff where you, I think we were down to 10 men and we still turned you over. That was a good night. Yeah, oh, we did the same uh, to you in the FA Cup. but that was. Yes, I was at that game. 3-0 yeah. <laughs> up at half-time, you down to 10 men. The only club in the history of football who managed to lose 4-3 from that position. Oh, yeah. That's typical um, of both clubs, I think, as well, which is quite good. Uh, okay, so obviously, like you said, you're coming in off your first loss of the season. You'd won every game and not conceded a goal before that. Uh, will he make uh, any changes, do you think, on uh, on Saturday? Or is it kind of uh, expected first team? It's expected first team. It's whether Silver and company are going to be fit. I'm confident that Silver will be fit. Company, though, it's always a strange one. You never want to rush him back. So, But I'm, I'm confident that even with Otamendi and Mangala at the back, we should be okay. OK, and uh, we've gone then predicted scoreline for you? Um, a very, very tight 2-1 City win. OK, 2-1 City, interestingly. I wonder if uh, maybe it might be worth us having a little wager on that, because I kind of think Spurs can, might go and have uh, see this game as like a no-win a no no bonus, might really go for it. So how about uh, we'll do a little, uh, we'll meet up before the game, we'll do a little video uh, about it on Twitter, and maybe we can come to some kind of agreement on a wager where... If, uh, if Spurs beat you, you guys have to do some kind of punishment and vice versa. Yep, we'll do it. Yep, we're up for it, I hope. Feeling confident. Okay, guys, well, lovely to speak to you, mate. Uh, guys, let us know what you think will happen in the City game in the comment section below. Don't forget to subscribe to the channel on YouTube and follow us on Twitter at Spurred on TV. See you next time, Adam. Yeah, see you later. How's it going, guys? Welcome to Spurred On. I am Craig Mitch, and this is another match preview. And this weekend, we have Manchester City 